This is a $250 portable smart heating lunchbox. It's called the Heatsbox Go and it cooks, reheats, and keeps your food warm on the go. Inside this video, we're gonna be testing to see whether or not this is worth your hard earned money. We'll be testing to see whether or not this is leak proof, how long it takes to heat your food right out of the refrigerator, and how well the smart app control works. This could be the best portable lunchbox on the market, so let's go ahead and find out. Now, Heatsbox did send me this to test and review inside this video, but you're only gonna get my honest opinion after we've thoroughly test out all the functions. Let's go ahead and start off with the unboxing of the Heatsbox Go. Now I'm really excited to test out this technology because I have tested out in the past a few of these portable heating lunch boxes, but the majority of them had to plug into power. This one runs off battery. So when we first open it up, we are greeted with one of the dish set tops. This is not the Heatsbox itself, but this is the lid that goes on top of your dishes that you're gonna be using inside of the Heatsbox. And then of course we have the user manual. And finally we get to the heats box itself. And first impressions, this is actually quite a bit bigger than I expected it to be. We'll compare it side by side with my MacBook Air and you'll notice that it's almost the same size. It's a few inches smaller, but height wise, it's pretty wide. So it looks like we have some kind of ventilation here on the bottom. We have an LED light built into the front as well as what looks like a steam valve here on the top. And we have four latches around the outside of of the heats box. All of them are rubber and when we open it up you'll notice that we have our dish set in here but not only do we have the metal interior dish we also have a divider so you could heat up multiple different kinds of food inside the heats box without them touching and the divider just simply slides in and you can adjust the width for both of the portions of food. And then of course we have a USB-C to USB-C charging cord. I love that this is USB-C. We're going to get faster charge times and almost all of my devices now have a USB-C port, so this is perfect. Now, when you're not using this inside the heats box, you have this additional lid here that attaches to the top of the metal container and then latches all the way around on the outside of the metal container. And if you're someone who likes to meal plan, you can get extra trays so you could keep your different meals in the refrigerator ready to go before you head out the door. They say that these containers here are 100% leak proof, so let's pour some water in just to test out that theory. We'll go ahead and snap down all four corners of this lid and we'll test out that leak proof ability. So now that all four corners are snapped, I'm gonna go ahead and shake this and you'll notice that no water is coming out of this container. So definitely 100% leak proof, which means you can easily put soup inside of this container and heat it up in the heat box. Another notable feature that I wanna talk about is going to be these little latches right here. They're very strong rubber. So they attach and lock into place really well. And that's gonna keep your food and your soup, whatever you're heating up in here from coming out of this box. And speaking of food, I went ahead and grabbed some leftover macaroni from the fridge. And we're gonna be testing out the macaroni inside the heats box to see how long it takes to heat it up out of the refrigerator. Let's go ahead first and test out how cold this macaroni is before going into the heats box. So we're currently getting about 48 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll test that against the optimum eating temperature. Now there are two different ways that we can heat up the macaroni inside of the heats box go. If you choose to go with the conventional heating method and you just heat by clicking on the button, then it's going to heat the interior to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Or the second option, you can use the smart controls built into the app. We're going to be going with this option right here because it has a dedicated timer built in. We have three different options when it comes to portion size, and we also have three different heating modes. You could do a large portion or a medium portion. I think that we have a medium portion of macaroni and cheese in here. And then we can either do cooking, which would take one to 40 minutes, fast heat, which is ready in 40 minutes, and gentle heat, which is gonna be ready in 50 minutes. Now my goal for this macaroni and cheese is to get the macaroni and cheese to be about 125 degrees Fahrenheit through about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. At that temperature, it's perfect for consumption. So let's go ahead and do medium portion and fast heat. And now all we have to do is take this container, put it into the heats box, and then put the lid on top. We are at 99% battery, and you'll notice that the light is blue, meaning that it is connected. So as soon as I hit start, the light will turn red, and it will give me my estimated time of when my meal will be finished, which is 1.13. But we're gonna go ahead and check this at 15 minutes into the cook time to see how hot the food is. Okay, now we're about 15 to 20 minutes into the cook time, and it says that the current temperature 
temperature inside of the heats box go is 155 degrees. You also notice that we do have a slight fan noise going on in the heats box. And that's typical, that's just gonna be keeping this unit cool. I can also touch it and handle it on all sides and it's not hot whatsoever. It's slightly warm, but you can definitely still hold it while it's cooking. So let's go ahead and pause the cooking now and we'll open this up and check out the temperature of the macaroni. So we're looking for this temperature to be roughly 125 to 135 degrees. And the macaroni is right now hovering right around 127 degrees so that's perfect that was about 20 minutes of cooking time and this macaroni is definitely warm and ready to eat so it definitely heated up the food way faster than i expected it to and we're still left with 68 percent battery after a 20 minute fast heat run time which means you can get about three to four uses heating up a medium portion size of food before the battery runs out and in my opinion that's excellent you can also schedule your food and you can change the internal temperature of the heats box so this app is really helpful and the connectivity worked flawlessly. Overall from our cooking test and demo I think that this performed extremely well. It cooked the food faster than I thought. It was ready in about 15 to 20 minutes and the app was very useful and the Bluetooth connectivity never failed. Now obviously the heat box is going to excel in this environment traveling around trying to avoid eating out and just wanting a hot healthy food option. Honestly I find myself eating in the car quite often and this is really going to come in handy as I'm traveling, as I'm hiking, doing different outdoor activities, and desiring something hot and healthy. Which leads me to my final thoughts about this product and whether or not it's worth it. And the answer to that question is yes, but it depends. I think that this is made for a specific type of person. If you're someone who hates fighting over microwave time at your office, or if you love hiking, traveling, biking, camping, those different things, then this is going to come in handy and you'll probably use it often. But if you're someone who just prefers to eat at home or prefers eating out during lunch, then this isn't going to be for you. The Heats Box Go fits my lifestyle perfectly. I love going out hiking, playing disc golf, and I often find myself out of the house during lunchtime. So being able to set this up in my car, push a button, and in a few minutes have hot and healthy food, to me, that's a win. As far as performance goes, this thing excelled in all three of our tests. And in that regard, I can definitely recommend it. At the price point of $250, this is a premium purchase purchase. I would consider this the apple of lunch boxes. So just keep that in mind. But as far as the product goes, this thing is excellent and I can definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video review and I hope that it helps. If you're into more content like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm David and I create all kinds of content reviewing different products, comparing products, and top five best videos. So make sure to stay tuned when I release my next video. Until next time, DM Finds signing out.